The Life and Sad Ending of Carmen McRae Carmen McRae was born Carmen Mercedes McRae on April 8, 1920, in Harlem, New York City, United States. Her father, Osmond, and mother, Avadne McRae, were immigrants from Jamaica. She began studying piano when she was eight, and the music of jazz greats such as Louis Armstrong and Duke Ellington filled her home. When she was 17 years old, she met singer Billie Holiday. As a teenager, McRae came to the attention of Teddy Wilson and his wife, the composer Irene Kitchings. One of McRae's early songs, Dream of Life, was, through their influence, recorded in 1939 by Wilson's longtime collaborator Billy Holiday. McRae considered Holiday to be her primary influence. She was a lifelong active Democrat. In her late teens and early twenties, McRae played piano at a New York City club called Minton's Playhouse, Harlem's most famous jazz club, sang as a chorus girl and worked as a secretary. It was at Minton's where she met trumpeter Dizzy Gillespie, bassist Oscar Petty Ford, and drummer Kenny Clark, had her first important job as a pianist with Benny Carter's big band, worked with Count Basie, and under the name Carmen Clark made her first recording as a pianist with the Mercer Ellington Band. But it was while working in Brooklyn that she came to the attention of Decca's Milt Gabler. Her five-year association with Decca yielded 12 LPs. In 1948, she moved to Chicago with comedian and impressionist George Kirby, with whom she had fallen in love. At the end of the relationship, she worked as a pianist and singer at the Archway Lounge. She played piano steadily for almost four years at a number of clubs in Chicago before returning to New York in 1952. In Chicago, she developed her own specific style. Those years in Chicago, McRae told Jazz Forum, gave me whatever it is that I have now. That's the most prominent schooling I ever had. Back in New York in the early 1950s, McRae got the record contract that launched her career. She was voted Best New Female Vocalist of 1954 by Downbeat magazine. McRae married twice, to drummer Kenny Clark from 1944 to 1956, though they separated in 1948, and to bassist Ike Isaacs in the late 1950s. Both marriages ended in divorce. Among her most interesting recording projects were Mad About the Man with composer Noel Coward, Boy Meets Girl with Sammy Davis Jr., participating in Dave Brubeck's The Real Ambassadors with Louis Armstrong. A tribute album You're Lookin' at Me, cutting an album of live duets with Betty Carter, the Carmen McRae Betty Carter duets, being accompanied by Dave Brubeck and George Shearing, and closing her career with tributes to Thelonious Monk, Carmen Sings Monk, and Sarah Vaughn, Sarah, dedicated to you. As a result of her early friendship with Billie Holiday, she never performed without singing at least one song associated with Lady Day, and she recorded an album in 1983 in her honor entitled For Lady Day, which was released in 1995, with songs including Good Morning Heartache, Them Their Eyes, Lover Man, God Bless the Child and Don't Explain. McRae also recorded with some of the world's best jazz musicians in albums such as Take Five Live with Dave Brubeck, Two for the Road with George Shearing, and Heat Wave with Cal Jader. The latter two albums were part of a notable eight-year relationship with Concord Jazz. McRae sang in jazz clubs throughout the United States, and across the world, for more than 50 years. She was a popular performer at the Monterey Jazz Festival, performing with Duke Ellington's orchestra at the North Sea Jazz Festival in 1980, singing Don't Get Around Much Anymore, and at the Montreux Jazz Festival in 1989. She left New York for Southern California in the late 1960s, but appeared in New York regularly, usually at the Blue Note, where she performed two engagements a year through most of the 1980s. In May to June 1988, she collaborated with Harry Connick Jr. on the song Please Don't Talk About Me When I Am Gone in New York City at the RCA Studios, for Connick's debut album, 20. 
She withdrew from public performance in May 1991 after an episode of respiratory failure only hours after she completed an engagement at the Blue Note Jazz Club in New York. On November 10, 1994, McCrae died at her home in Beverly Hills, California, at the age of 74. She had fallen into a semi-coma four days earlier, a month after being hospitalized for a stroke. On June 25, 2019, the New York Times Magazine listed Carmen McRae among hundreds of artists whose material was reportedly destroyed in the 2008 Universal Fire. 